a Republican and I worked for the Reagan and Bush campaigns. Just like you, I was opposed to the Affordable Care Act. When it was passed, I told my wife we would close our business before I complied with this law. Then, at 49, I was given six weeks to live mm. with a very curable type of cancer. We offered three times the cost of my treatments, which was rejected. They required an insurance card. Thanks to the Affordable Care Act, I'm standing here today alive. Being both a small business person mm -hmm. and someone with pre-existing conditions, right. I rely on the Affordable Care Act to be able to purchase my own insurance. Why would you repeal the Affordable Care Act without a replacement? Oh, we, we wouldn't do that. We want to replace it with something better. We believe that state high-risk pools are a smarter way of guaranteeing coverage for people with pre-existing conditions. We had a really good one in Wisconsin. Uh, Utah had a great one. I was talking with a congresswoman from, Mich from Washington today who was telling me how good their state high-risk pool is. What I mean when I say this is about 8% of all the people under 65 have that kind of pre-existing condition. Uh, my mother-in-law, cancer, she had melanoma in her 20s, breast cancer in her 50s, ovarian cancer in her 60s. People just have these things. And we don't want people to go poor or go bankrupt because this thing happens to them. So we obviously want to have a system where they can get affordable coverage without going bankrupt because they get sick. But we can do that without destroying the rest of the healthcare system for everybody else. That's the point I'm trying to make. What we should have done was fix what was broken in healthcare without breaking what was working in healthcare, and that's what, unfortunately, Obamacare did. So, by financing state high-risk pools to guarantee people get affordable coverage when they have a pre-existing condition like yourself, what you're doing is you're dramatically lowering the price of insurance for everybody else. So if we say, let's just as taxpayers, and I agree with this, finance the coverage for those 8% of Americans under 65 in a condition like yours, they don't have to be covered or paid for by their small business or their insurer who's buying the rates for the rest of the people in their insured pool, and you dramatically lower the price for the other 92% of Americans. Let's just directly fix that so that everybody else can get more competitive rates and they don't have to pay for insurance to try and cover for those kinds of really expensive people. The problem with um, Obamacare, the actuaries call it a death spiral. It's a really kind of ugly, gruesome term. But a death spiral is a mathematical term, they say, when the insurance gets so expensive, healthy people won't buy it because they, it's just a trade-off. The penalty to not buy it is a lot cheaper than buying the insurance, so healthy people won't buy it. Therefore, they won't go and per participate in the insurance pool to cover the losses that sicker people who have to have insurance buy it. That's what's happening to Obamacare now. So you have unhealthy people more buying it, healthy people not buying it, and that is why the rates are going up so much. That's why all the insurers are pulling out. Biggest health insurance company in the, in the country last year, United, pulled out of Obamacare. Aetna pulled out of Obamacare. Humana pulled out of Obamacare. As I mentioned, five states now are down to one insurer. Over a thousand counties in America are down to one insurer, and they're all getting double-digit premium increases because they have a monopoly. So clearly that's not working. And we see the worst is yet to come. The insurers are telling us they're going to pull out of whole states now. So we've got to step in in front of this problem because as Republicans, we could just say, I think the president-elect said this yesterday, we could just sit back and watch it all happen and say, well, look at what the Democrats did. That would be irresponsible for us to do that. So we have to step in and rescue people from the collapse of this law. There are good objectives that, were, that they sought to achieve in this law. We agree with that. We think young people you should be able to stay in their parents' plan until they're 26. We think there needs to be a solution, which we have, for people mm -hmm. with pre-existing conditions. But we want more choices, lower prices, more competition, no monopolies. That's what we want to